Okay, so, um, the anchor's away, on the back it says sand and sea. I think that there are two parts to this collection, and I will sort out the details, I need to Google it, actually, because I'm not sure. There's like, there, I think there's two of these, and one is sand and sea and one is something else. Or one is anchors away and one is something else and they're all part of Naughty Nauticals. Or this is Naughty Nauticals and then they're sent. I don't know. It's confusing. But they, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six came in this. And you guys, oops, I'm out of frame. I'm starting to think that I love this uh, as much as, if not a little bit more than the up and away. Um, I haven't really worn them all except for uh, this life preserver. I'm not completely familiar with the names yet, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to put swatches. I'm going to go outside. It's really ugly outside, but I still want to take swatches in the natural daylight for you guys to see. And then I'll insert them after each color. But I woke up this morning to a Twitter, a tweet from Crystal and she's like, do you have white cap? It's from the Anchors Away collection. Do you have white cap? I ordered a white cap and I want to know what you think about it. So I was like, do I have white cap? So I, I rolled over and I reached onto the floor to my china glaze that's on the floor and I picked up white cap and it's a clear, it's not clear, it's a creamy shimmer and the shimmers are almost green. So I painted it um, on my thumb and then I'll include a swatch from outside like right here uh, I kind of really like it I'm not a fan of shimmers this is something that most people would put on top of another color but I never layer colors maybe this is something I need to get into but I just don't I don't like putting glitter colors on top of regular colors I just like to have the true color this is three coats and for a creamy, for a creamy, clearish cream color, that's really good coverage for three coats. And that's another reason why I love this collection is because the next color, no, it's not the next color, but I'm going to go out of order anyway, is the Sunset Sail. And that's this one. It's a nude, obviously. Oops, I didn't paint my tip. And with one coat, I noticed, like, I, I didn't even really need to make, I didn't even really need to use two coats, because the one coat with this was amazing. And this color, it reminds me of my other one, Malaysian Mist by OPI, the nude color, but it's got a little bit of an orange in it. And I really like it, it's so pretty. Then another one that's a shimmery is this naughty and it's a shimmer so it's kind of like the the white cap <coughs> it's kind of like the white cap but it's um a, a nude shimmer instead of a white shimmer and it's this one why, do I, why am i holding white cap let me get that out of the way Mmm, and this is t only two coats. Naughty. Naughty. Okay. So then my next color is Below Deck. Below, Below Deck. And if you have watched any of my other videos, I am a huge fan of grays mixed with purples and that's what this is. It's a muted gray... no, it's a muted purple. And it's this one right here. This lighting in here really is crappy. Sorry. I'm gonna go outside though, like I said. This one needed one coat. I put two just because I'm in the habit of making it into two coats, but it really just needed one. The coverage was freaking phenomenal and it's an it's a really nice color for those of you who don't understand what muted means 
the whole collection, this whole collection is muted colors. Um, muted, I guess, would kind of mean that it is mixed with gray. It is a little musty, muggy, hazy, dull. I need, how do you describe a muted color, you guys? This is kind of hard. Muted. These, these are very bright and true and there's, there's a neon and there's even not a neon and then there's even really just not a neon at all and, and these aren't muted. Muted, muted colors are, are just, sorry, I really should be able to describe this for you. That's what you guys count on me for and I'm not being very good at it. Below deck, and I love it with my whole heart. Then I wore this. I even think I, I am um, um, life preserver. And then I wore life preserver, and I, I let a lady at work. It looks kind of red, but this is more of a coral, a muted coral. That's exactly what this is. It's a muted coral. That was, a, that was an amazing description, just so you know. If you can picture a muted coral, that's what this is. I should be a color describer, aside from the fact that I just couldn't describe to you what muted meant, but still. I led a lady at work, she wanted oranges, and so I brought all the oranges I had, and she picked whatever color she wanted to wear, and then she wore this one, and I was like, I'm not really sure that I would wear that. Then she put it on, and I was like, that's really freaking amazing, right? But she's got that olive, that beautiful olive tone, and I'm <laughs> pretty pale, pretty pretty white, even gray, kind of gray. Anyways, but I, but I put it on, and I have a swatch from at work that I'll include right here. And then and then the little picture from outside that I'll include right here. Okay, and I and I just really enjoy this muted coral called Life Preserver. Then first mate. This is that pretty blue that I was using in one of my tutorials. The muted navy blue <laughs> and I really like it but then the the color that I loved the most when I first got it the first color that I wore was pelican gray whoops pelican gray and it's a gray but it has a little bit of a blue tinge to it um I don't see any shimmer But it isn't a cream. Maybe it has a little bit of illuminescence. Maybe it has a little bit of a luminescent glow. Because it's not a cream. But it is, um, it's this one. So I have six colors here. Wait a second. I have seven colors here. Holy macaroni. Holy macaroni. I have seven. That means that I bought one of these and it may be from the other side of the collection. What the freaking heck? Sea spray. Sea spray. Sea spray. Sea spray. Sea spray. I am such a dork. I did buy like the, almost the whole collection. Why do I always screw up on my videos? Why do I always screw up? I need to lay out a plan. I need to lay out a plan. I didn't make a dialogue. I need to make it organized like I know what I'm talking about. Because I just realized I have eight colors from the anchors away. But this only holds six. And I only got one pack. So I must have bought this and then other colors separately. I must have picked and choosed from the anchors away. 
but it's split in half because there's only six here. So I need to find out which six this was because then there's sea spray. I only painted one coat. One coat? This is just one. That's just one coat of sea spray. I don't even need a second coat. It's freaking amazing. Oh, I love the anchors away. Because muted colors are my thing right now, man. It's my thing. Okay, so sea spray is another one. These are a bunch of colors. Look at the mutedness. Look at the mutedness of this. Excuse my dry fingers. I just removed and then never even used cuticle oil after I painted. So the ones that I don't see in this box are these two. First Mate. And life preserver. So these may not be a part of Anchors Away, although their names lead me to believe that they are. So these must belong to the other half of the collection. And why I didn't get the other colors, I'm not so sure because I love these, so I must love those. I have to Google that right now. Anyway, this is uh that's what that is. These look kind of similar. Pelican gray and sea spray, but this is gray and that's blue. Boy, guy, boy, golly, boy, golly, golly, they look the same. Yeah. This can be some kind of strange gang sign. This can be some kind of strange nail polish gang sign. Okay, well, I'm going to go outside and take some pictures. How about I just Google that right now? That's what I'll do. I don't... guys can see. So forgive the color distortion because it looks blue and it's not blue, but um, if you go to scrangy.com, she's my favorite. Scrangy.com. She is my favorite nail swatch guru lady person. This is Ahoy. Apparently that's another um, color, and I didn't get it because it's a magenta pink, and I'm just not a fan of pinks. This is the below deck that I got, and then first mate that I got, and then Hey Sailor is just a basic red. I'm not a fan of reds, obviously, that's why I didn't get that one. Naughty, which is the one I got. Life Preserver, which is the one I got. And Lighthouse. Lighthouse looks like a shimmery I don't know why I didn't get that. That's kind of interesting, but uh, I didn't, nonetheless. Then Pelican Gray, Sea Spray, Starboard. I didn't get Starboard because it kind of looks like... Mm, it's a little lighter than Jade is the New Black by OPI. It's a really pretty color. Maybe I'll end up getting that, but I didn't get it. Sunset Spray, White Cap. Let's see what Trans Design has to say about this situation. Typing one handed sucks, I don't know how people do it. Trans Design has the Naughty Nauticals six pack. I got these two colors from the Naughty Nauticals the Pelican, I don't know, the Life Preserver, and then the First Mate. I did not get the red, the pink, the green, or the yellow because I felt like I had similar colors or I just didn't like them. Uh, sand and Sea. So I'm assuming that all of the colors after that, which are these ones, are Sand and Sea. And I, they used to have a Sand and Sea right here, but they don't anymore. Maybe because everyone's buying it. Look at that. Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. So glad I ordered this when I did. Okay, so that's the situation. The Anchors Away is split into two sections, Naughty Nauticals and then Sand and Sea. At least that's what I'm educatedly guessing. <laughs> Alright.